Hello everyone, it's Dan here from Thomas Word Support. In this video I'm going to take you through the theme options available within Lima for WordPress. So as you can see we've got a basic WordPress install which we set up in our last video and now we're going to go into the theme options, just see what they all do and give you an idea of how to tweak it to make it your own. As usual to access the theme options you can either head to customize from your admin bar or from your dashboard. You can simply go to appearance and customize. Now once you're in there, you'll see you've got a few different options available to you um, on the left here. These range from some default ones which come with every WordPress install to some custom ones for our theme. But we'll go through each of them one by one so you can get an idea of how they all work. So to start with, we've got the site identity area. This is where you can specify your own logo if you wish, or by default it will use the site title. If you wanted to set your own logo, simply hit select logo and upload your logo file. Uh, I'll see if I've got anything in the media library here. There we go, that will be fine. And once it's applied, you can hit publish. And we'll just refresh and you can see it take effect. There we go. Next up, we've got the colors. Now this is where you can specify the background color for the main body area here. Or if you wish, you can use the background image area here and have this as one static image if you prefer. Below this, we've got areas to control your menus and widgets. I personally prefer to use the dedicated admin areas as there's a bit more room to play with, but you've got the option to mess around with them here if you prefer. Next up, we've got the home page settings. Now this is where you can specify to choose a static home page from one of the pages in the demo or of course your own or you can have it set to show your latest blog posts if you do want to choose a static page then be sure to set a page for your posts as well this will be where people go to see your blog entries below this we've got a CSS area this is perfect if you just want to make small customizations without using your child theme CSS so if you want to change something um, which isn't in the theme options such as the font size for something etc you can do so here with your own custom CSS below this we've got the site settings here you can specify the height for your logo if you wish below this we can activate or deactivate the preloader which is shown when loading through different pages here we've got the typography settings these are very simple to use but I will go through them in a separate video so you can see how to change the Google font used below this we've got the 404 settings so on your 404 page you can alter the text as well as give it your own background image and here you can activate and deactivate the right click protection so we can specify a certain message here if you want to or you can just disable this behavior entirely and stop the right click from appearing which is very very useful and below this we've got the theme colors this is where you can choose your own highlight color as well as header background and preloader background so just to give you an idea if I just refresh you can see we've got the preloader there if I wanted to change the background color for that, I could swap that for, I'll go for something like really mental. <laughs> I'll change the background color for the preloader to say a, a purple, and I'll change the highlight colors to something here. Obviously you might want to be a bit more tasteful than what I'm doing here. Uh, this is entirely up to you. I'm just going to go ahead and swap them out, and I'll reload so we can see the change. And you can see there it's taken effect very very simply so you've got a very good level of control there but I'll just pop these back to default because I think it looks quite nice below this we've got the blog settings now this is where you can choose to display or hide certain areas of your post so if you want to let's say stop the date and category and tags featured image from being shown on the uh, your posts we can do so. so if I just load in here you can see now I've set that to publish if I refresh you can see the changes you can see straight away we've got rid of the 
uh, category etc as we wanted. Below that we've got the portfolio settings, this is where you can actually specify the title for your portfolio which will by default be uh, your domain forward slash portfolio and you can also choose from the various layouts to display these however you want. And finally we've got the footer settings now this confusingly will be the footer that's shown here and in the header area <laughs> which is uh, can, can be slightly confusing it's just the way this theme is made so what we're referring to is this area here so we can specify different text as well as set up some social icons as well so if I just pop some in here you can see there it's all appeared as it should do I'll just refresh you can see that take full effect and there we go that's it I hope this has been useful if you have any more questions then do come see me over support other than that thanks for watching and have fun with your theme